everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a current favorites video i've not done one of these for a while so if you'd like to see what i have been loving at the moment then keep watching so it pains me a little bit to be filming this in a hoodie in may because summer has still not arrived or even spring actually to be honest it's just just a bit chilly isn't it um i've just come back from my sister-in-law to be's hendu in mallorca so i'm feeling it even more because it's very cold here by comparison um but yeah i've got lots of favorites to share with you and i'm conscious that i haven't done a video like this for ages and i don't really know why because i've had loads of things that i've actually really wanted to talk about um so i've got everything from like home stuff books, perfume, skincare, makeup, that kind of thing. So if you want to keep watching and uh, see what I've been loving, then you are more than welcome to. But before I get into that, I've got a game to tell you about so this video has been sponsored by royal match i'm just going to take a couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about that before i get on with my favorites so basically royal match is by dream games you might have seen some of their games before and i thought this is quite fitting to tell you about obviously with the coronation being right around the corner um so it's a game where you essentially are matching up the little um icons to remove them get them into rows um a minimum of three and then you can complete the levels really really easy to use and what's quite nice about it there's no ads because i will download a game now and again you know like to pass the time or like you know it works your brain a little bit and it's not like just mindless scrolling you're doing something a bit more fun and um then you've always got an ad and then you've got to like watch something for a bit until it goes away and then i just feel like oh, i can't be bothered with you um so this is ad free and it is also something that you can play without the internet so when we were on the flight back um sarah one of my fellow bridesmaids had a little snooze and um, i was reading my book for a bit and i played on this as well because it was just something to do and um, we had a delay for an hour while we were sat on the plane before we took off because of some um like flight restrictions that are going on at the moment in may and uh, it was nice to have something extra to do um but it's free to download so i'll leave the link down below but if you like a bit of gameplay if you like a bit of distraction um if you want to get in the mood with coronation theme then you can do but it's basically got a king in it so it's like normal gameplay where you're matching up all the things um all the icons and then as you can complete each level there's a bit of like a storyline behind it so every Every level that you complete you can then like rebuild part of the palace or its grounds and things like that so what i really like about it is that it reminds me of those old school like arcadey games or the games that i used to play when i was younger really really easy to play but obviously it gets harder as you progress and it also like the gameplay differs somewhat so sometimes you'll be removing certain things and um, there are little icons as well when you're doing really well you'll get a special one like TNT to blow up a section this that and the other it's great it is really fun and it's very very easy to just suddenly be on like level 20 and um, to pass the time but yes I will link this down below for you if you want to give it a go it's very fun I've already got my castle and my fountain and stuff like that and um, now we're gonna crack on with my favorites so the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is like homey stuff and it's mainly scent based if you know be my now I love my smells and it's some new wax melts by wish upon a candle company um i shared these in like a little youtube short reel tiktok type thing and they are so nice my favorite one is glass slipper which i use so quickly that i've since gone on to order for more of these in that scent because i just loved it that much it's super like sweet and reminds me a bit of perfume it's really pretty but this is what they look like so this one is under the sea and the basic premise of these is that they are designed to like smell and remind you of disney world which is just pretty cool because we went to disney world back when daisy was a baby and i was very very privileged to be able to work with them and it is the most amazing place and the attention to detail with things like scents etc are just what really really puts it a class above everywhere else so under the sea 
it's like a bit tropical citrusy you get um a description for each scent so this one for example is a clean citrus accord with top notes of orange and lemon followed by grapefruit marine and cooling hints of mint and it is that is exactly how it smells they're beautiful and the one i've got burning in the background there next to my flowers um is the love charm and this one again it's like sweet but it's got a little hint of mint in it and um, so a fresh floral accord of eucalyptus nuances of peppermint and a heart of rose lavender and your line your line so that is just lovely and i really like them and i feel like with anything like candles wax melt anything like that it's always a bit of a risk isn't it when it comes to what the scent throw is going to be be like in the scent payoff because you can buy them and if you smell them like in the tub you're like oh that smells really nice and then when you burn it it's not very strong at all but these are really lovely and i'm so excited to get the glass slipper one back because you know when you just smell a smell and you're like oh no that's it that's what i want my house to smell like so i've been loving them really really loving them and they're be they're made in norfolk as well so it's quite nice to be supporting like a uk small business rather than like a mass produced one or something like that and um, the next scent thing um is this febreze air mist and it's recommended by mrs hinch and it's pink tulips and white jasmine and um, i never know with these um whether or not like Mrs. Hinge comes up with it or if they come up with it and then like she smells it and goes, yeah, I'll put mine, out. like I wonder, I'm always fascinated to know how it works. Um, but yeah, pink tulips and white jasmine and this. It's just really pretty. It's really pretty. It's called Country Garden Edition and that is really the vibes that it gives off. And um, yeah, I just, I really really like the smell of that at the moment it's nice and pretty and floral and it's very spring english spring kind of scent and um, and as summer comes in i go for more like tropical fruity but florals i love i love floral scents and they are just two of my faves at the moment that i'm reaching for a lot i've bought this um twice now and i also have the bold two-in-one pods that are of a similar scent and they smell amazing really really nice um and speaking of that next favorite which is really really random but it's so so true like i can't even help myself but i'm in my element with hanging stuff on the line again like i don't know why but i'm so satisfied when i look out into the garden and there's washing on the line and uh, the pure satisfaction it gives me to not use the dryer or to not have things hanging on the radiators or anything like that it, it's second to none i cannot cannot explain that feeling and i know i don't have to because i know you know what i'm talking about i know you know but I have to say, if you use this uh, scent in the bowl tune one um, capsules and then you hang it out on the line, your washing is going to smell dreamy. It is so nice and I just, I'm loving that combo at the minute. So that is like the homey stuff. And now I'm going to get on to bits that I have been loving. So the first thing is kind of a really, really quick contender. Now, I have worn mark jacobs daisy the original for years and it was funny because um i bought it just before i found out i was pregnant with daisy it must have been that summer and then i think we found out we were pregnant at like the end of august something like that and then it was ironic in the end that we ended up calling a daisy and so for me it's just a really really important pretty scent it's a scent that i wore on my wedding day because i feel like it's just very reminiscent of like me and like when i smell it i'm taken back to so many moments in my life so when i was on the way home from the hen i went to gt3 i actually went to gt3 on the way there found daisy and sprayed it on myself before i got on the plane because i just really missed it which i don't know if that's a bit naughty or, or not but don't we all do that you know when you're in gt3 and you're like i'm just gonna go and 
put some expensive perfumes on and <laughs> get them in some new. Um, well, that's what we were all doing anyway. Um, but I thought I'm not going to buy it on the way there because um, we only had hand luggage and we're flying with Ryanair and you know what that's like. So I didn't want to like buy something that wouldn't even be able to take home. So I waited until the way home and I went to try and find it. And I did, but they had this one on offer, which is like a limited edition one. Um, firstly, the packaging is just so pretty. I love, I love this. I, I know that it's a bit, I don't know, it makes me feel like a bit 90s with it, but it's just so, it's so cute. It's such a pretty bottle. And this is Daisy Marc Jacobs Oh So Fresh Paradise. And if you smell any of the Daisy kind of spin-off scents, you'll know that they're all very reminiscent of Daisy, um, but they're just slightly different. So some might be a little bit more fruity or fresh or this one, it's just got a little something to it. I don't know what the show, <laughs> what was that? But it is just kind of more summery and Paradise is actually a really good name for it. But when I spritzed it, because it was on offer, this was 25% off and significantly cheaper and I got more of it. I spritzed it and I was like, do you know what? It still smells daisy enough to kind of get my fix, but it's kind of better offer for money. So I can really recommend that one if you've not smelled it before. And just this perfume in general, because I just think it's a classic and I've always loved it. And you sent preferences can change over the years but that's one that's always stuck with me and I think it like suits me and it's just so pretty so now I'm going to move on to some skincare makeup kind of things so I'm going to start with skincare basically anything from this brand I love I've had so many lotions and potions over the years and some have like stuck with me some i no longer use but um this this brand managed to even knock my favorite ever cleanser off the top spot and now i use something completely different um so i used to use the dhc oil cleanser and now i use the inky list um oat cleansing balm it's amazing, it's sensitive, um, it's moisturising when you use it as well, it's not harsh, it's fab at removing makeup, it's affordable, it's available, like it, you know, the brand itself is becoming very, very sort of well known now. You can buy all of it on ASOS as well. I will use the, the Oat Cleansing Balm, which is actually upstairs at the moment, but it very, it's basically like a giant it looks like this but giant and um squeeze it out onto my hands i rub that all over my face to like dissolve all my makeup it, it's a dream on mascara and then i use a little face cloth like a cotton one because I quite like the um exfoliating sensation of cotton and um, like a flannel basically but just a smaller one and i'll use that to remove it all i'll use the cerave foaming face wash um to then do like a double cleanse and then i will go in with um paula's choice bha exfoliant um and just like get any like grime out of my pores it like tightens them it's really really good for um clearing congestion and stuff and then i got hyaluronic acid which i put on first and um, this is amazing for hydration these two in particular are fantastic for not anti-aging but just keeping your skin healthy as it ages um, and I love them I just think they're fantastic I use them along with my skin and me as well and then I also have the um water-based moisturizer which Bill uses um I have the hyaluronic um facial wash which Bill is using as well as am I and um, that's in the main bathroom and I also have the facial sunscreen and I think that basically means that I'm a big fan I just love their stuff so I've tried to get a bit closer so you can see um obviously I am showing signs of aging because I'm 35 and that's gonna happen I'm trying to stay away from other methods like say Botox and stuff for the time being um because I just really want to 
embrace getting older but I'm not ever going to rule it out because I, I don't want to set a precedent for myself like in five years time I might feel completely differently could feel differently like six months down the line but um I used to have really bad under the skin acne so it was never really something that came to the surface but there was just loads of texture under my skin and sometimes some of them could get bigger and be quite sore but that has gone and I'm really, really happy about that. I still, I mean, I've got really bad dark circles at the moment after the weekend I've had, um, but it was it was worth it. Um, but my pores are a lot smaller these days and I don't know if you can just see that I, my skin is a lot more glowy than it ever has been. And obviously I've got a highlighter here, but the rest of it isn't. And I feel like I can use less makeup and, you know, just, sometimes I'll just put a bit of concealer on like under my eyes or like around my nose you know when you get that redness but that brand is honestly I'm a massive fan now moving on from skincare I've got makeup and the first one I've actually got so much makeup that I could talk about and um, I'm really happy with my makeup at the moment in time but this Ekinsu Be Perfect Fearless Face and Eye Palette is just perfect for the kind of look that I'm wearing today. So here we have four powders. Like I, I predominantly use these as eyeshadows, but there's nothing to say that you couldn't mix and match this whole palette across your face. So this darker one here, I will use to line my lash line and I'm actually wearing it with a brown mascara for a softer look during the day. Then we've got these ones which are great either on the lid or to add definition into the socket and then a lighter one to highlight with. Um, I'm more likely to use that on, you know, the inner half of my lid to brighten and make my eyes pop. Then you have a contour, you have this shimmery blush which is giving NARS orgasm like kind of vibes. And then we have ooh, a champagne highlighter. And again, you could use that on the lid if you wanted to, but this was all I used when I went to Mallorca and it's all I've been using recently anyway. And it's so compact, like just to slide into your bag and your makeup bag or if you're traveling and it's really really nice and i just i've never found anything before like a whole palette where i actually use and like all of the shades in it and um, so whoever like obviously i can see is behind this but um whoever designed it with her and like if she came up with this herself i've no idea how it works like she's done a really really good job and um I'm very happy with that. That's a great find. And then another thing that I'm just obsessed with, and I've used loads of setting sprays over the years from various different brands, like starting with Urban Decay's or Nighter setting spray. I feel like that was the one, that was like the original, wasn't it really? And um, I've used like smaller businesses, um, all sorts, but the Charlotte Tilbury one is really my absolute favorite. And it's so good that I actually brought the mini version. I have the bigger version at the moment as well, because I wanted to get this in my hand luggage to bring away with me to Mallorca because I just don't want to be without it. It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's party all night and stay all day. And to be honest with you, my makeup just lasts so well with this. And you know, like when you've set, sorry, my fringe is annoying me today, the way I've killed it. You know, when you've set your makeup and you've used a powder, but then you kind of lost all of that glow about you and you're looking quite dull and um, just a spritz of this just wakes your face up and it's just I absolutely love it like I'm filming this and it's two o'clock and my makeup like I've obviously put some lipstick on but well lip gloss on for this video but everything else has just stayed really nicely and I just think it's fab if you never tried it before the fact that there is a miniature travel size version is always quite nice as well because you can try it and see if it's for you but it is worth the money I love Charlotte Tilbury's products I have done for years now and um that is really right up there um as one of my faves Now I'm going to talk on to you kind of like stuff that I've been enjoying or that has been keeping me entertained or happy and the first one is swimming which 
it's never thought something I thought I would ever say because as a backstory, and I think this is normal for a lot of women, um, particularly after you've had children and you go through a lot of bodily changes, I just got to the point where swimming became something that I used to love as a teen. I remember doing like the um, relay competitions and things like that. I, I, I used to love it. I really, really used to enjoy swimming. And I always have done is something that came very naturally to me, something that made me really happy when I was younger. But when I had Bill, um, it's just something that I stopped. Like I even swam when I was at uni. I used to go to the leisure centre and swim at the weekends. Um, but gosh, I'm just thinking about that then. I've not thought about that for ages. But when I had Bill, it just stopped and it became something that was for my children. So my kids would swim and I would take them to swimming lessons and I would watch and observe, but I would never be in the pool. And if I was in the pool, it was only with my children. Never for me, I would never swim. I'd be holding a child or like watching them jump in and going, oh, well done, or, or going, ooh, and swishing them around in the water. It was never ever anything where I would physically you know, move my body in a way that I wanted to. And I've told this story already, but we went on a spa trip, um, what well, I did, I went on a spa tra trip with Suzanne and her friend, I started swimming in this pool, and then before I knew it, I was just like hooked. I went again in the next morning, and now I go every week. So as part of my gym membership, um, you have access to classes, swimming pool, um the gym or for your membership so i pick and choose now whether or not it's the gym whether it's a swim and um, and that kind of thing i've not built myself up to classes yet but the thing i don't like about classes is that i don't like being constrained to a certain time and um, so i've been getting up at six in the morning and going then uh, before everyone else wakes up because for me that's more convenient because i don't have to worry about like whether or not everybody else is okay because i know they're asleep and they're back home with mark um but also i can get up go for a swim or the gym and then i can shower and wash my hair and get on with my day and i'm loving it i'm more of a bre breaststroke girl i love that and um, kind of like a breaststroke under the water rather on top and i've got goggles and everything like a right like dweeby bug but I just, I'm really enjoying it and it's my thing now and it's really good for me and I'm really happy that I've started so that is something that I just had to mention because the freedom that I'm getting now for from like pushing myself out of my boundaries and like shaking things up a bit and making myself feel uncomfortable so I can eventually start to feel comfortable is amazing and that's kind of part of what what I'm trying to achieve for myself and where I'm at at the moment now my kids are growing up and um, I am getting opportunities where if I like push myself to get up a bit earlier and I work a bit harder I can get some time for myself and I'm feeling healthier and better and it's been a really really good thing for me and I just love it I love it it makes me feel so happy so that is definitely up there with one of my favorite things as well then I have to talk to you about this because I've been sharing it on Instagram and since I initially shared it on my stories, so many people, and I mean so many people, have messaged me to say that they've started watching it and they love it too. And they've had people asking me, what was it called again? What was it called again? I really want to watch it. So I've been shared, I've shared it like three times now. And it's a, um, I guess a sitcom, you would say, um, called Shrill. And um, it is an American sitcom, but actually the main character's best friend is British, so that's kind of cool because you get a bit of that element in as well. And um, it basically follows a character named Annie who um, is trying to break down stereotypes and, like, boundaries put in place by society because she is... Um, a self-proclaimed fat person and it starts off and she's kind of in a situation where people are just walking all over her and she's slowly but surely getting bolder and bolder and it goes through everything from relationships with food with relationships with family in their judgment of her relationship with friends relationship with her body relationships with men sex feeling sexy regardless of your size it's incredibly empowering and as someone who's been like everything from a size 10 as a you know adult to a size 22 I find it so realistic to watch because 
people do treat you differently when it's dependent on your size like i've definitely been treated in many different ways over the years and i'm not in my biggest or my smallest now but it's an incredibly reflective thing to watch and i'd really really recommend it i think it's so funny you've got to have a good sense of humor i'll give you that and you definitely can't be embarrassed about a bit of swearing or sex or a few kinks and stuff because it's 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 pretty honest and realistic but i loved it i binge watched it i've finished it now and i wish i could start it all over again and i'm i always say this when i love something but i'm really jealous that you've not watched it yet because you get to enjoy it and i can't anymore so that's crap but please watch it because i think you'll really like it and then the next thing that i really loved uh and it really took me by surprise was this and this is what i actually read when we we're on holiday as well in mallorca oh, i actually finished it on the flight home and um, so when i wasn't reading this i was playing royal match um so this is by beth o'leary and um, he wrote the flat share which i'm sure you've heard about because that sold so many so many copies and um, but this is called the no show and um it's three women three dates and one missing mum so i'm going to read you the blurb like i always do at uh, 8 52 a.m siobhan's looking forward to her date with joseph breakfast on valentine's day surely means something so where is he 2 43 p.m miranda's hoping that a valentine's day lunch with carter will be the perfect way to celebrate her new job but why hasn't he shown up 6 30 p.m Joseph Carter promised to be Jane's fake boyfriend at a dreaded engagement party tonight, but he's not here. Meet Joseph Carter, that is, if you can find him. And it really, really surprised me because I picked this to take with me because it was giving like chick lit vibes like oh you're on holiday you want an easy read by the pool or on the beach or whatever and um i thought it would be just really you know like a bit juicy a bit of drama but the ending was not even something that i can predict oh i got a hang of it initially as it started to unravel um but it took me a while to cotton on like i wasn't expecting it at all and i can normally predict things quite well but it was really really good and very heartwarming and i'd really recommend that if you want a summer book it's very very good very good and um i loved it and i wasn't expecting to love it as much as i did um, um, and I don't want to give any more away, but just pick it up. Check out your library, get it on your Kindle or, or what have you, because it's really worth a read. And then finally, these bad boys. Um, I have had my Uniqlo bag, this black one, for months and months. And obviously, I've not done a, um, a favourites video for ages. And I've been meaning to talk about this. The hype over these is real. I got one quite early on, and I just love it so much that I bought a different colourway. But this bag, it's like, it's almost like a, you could wear it as a bum bag if you wanted to, but I wear it cross body. But what I love about it is that because it's cross body, it's right in front of where my arm is and I can just reach in, pull it out. It was great for the airport. It's amazing for school runs. I always put like my purse, I've got sunglasses, a little like mini pack of wipes and some Tic Tacs and a hand sanitizer at the moment. And then I'll put like a bag for life in if I need to like, run out and get anything while i'm on the school room for the shops and um it's just so useful i've never had a more useful bag so this is like the black one i use the most because black goes with a lot of things but i also have this shade but it comes in so many different colors they do like seasonal ones as well and you can get like I think at the moment there's a little pink one and um, maybe a mustard yellow i'd quite like a lilac one i'll have to see if they actually have a lilac one but i really 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 like it it's a good bag guys it's a very very good bag and so versatile and every time i wear it people always go like what bag is that it looks really good um and it's worth the hype and it's actually really affordable as well so that um kind of wraps up <laughs> my favorites video but i hope you enjoyed it if you have any favorites at the moment that you would recommend to me i would love to know in the comments because 
I always appreciate that. When people message me and go like, I think you'd really like this book or this show or I saw this and thought of you, it always touches me and I'm dead grateful. And also thank you to Royal Match for sponsoring this video. But I am over and out now. I'm gonna go and edit this and then I'll be doing the school run and swimming lessons soon. Um, but you have a lovely rest of your day and I will hopefully see you all very, very soon. Bye.